Hey everybody, welcome back to Barbecue by Biggs. Today we're making chicken and waffle wings. You wanna see how these things turn out? Come along with us, stay tuned. All right, so we bought full wings and we always cut them down to the drumettes and the flats, the party wings. You can buy the full wings at a whole lot cheaper rate than you can these already cut up. So all you gotta do is grab your scissors if they'll cooperate, cut through those joints, cut through the second joint. And once you get through that second joint, you have a drumette and you have a flat. It's real easy to do, I tell you. It doesn't take a whole lot of time and it'll save you a little bit of money. Meat's expensive enough without having to spend extra. We're gonna take them, we're gonna put a little bit of oil on them. This is olive oil that we're putting on. And then we're just gonna take the olive oil and we're gonna mix it all in, getting a good coating on those chicken wings. Now the seasoning that we're using today, the chicken and waffle wing rub from PS Seasonings. And I tell you guys, as soon as we got this, I was just ecstatic because I smelled it and it, you could smell that salty, sweet flavor. And I'm telling you, I couldn't wait to get it on some wings. So we're just gonna shake this very liberally over the wings and then mix it in. And then of course, continue to get a good coating all over these wings. The more rub, the better in, in this case, because you're not putting any, any flour or any bacon soda on top of them or any of that. The, the, Rub is gonna be your outside coating, so make sure that you have a bunch of it on there. Remember, this isn't a hot rub, it is a sweet rub, so if you get too much, it's not that big of a deal, it just tastes better. So once you get them all coated up and uh, ready to go, we're gonna take the air fryer basket and we're just gonna line them single file down on the bottom. Now this is 12 wings, this basket will hold more than that. So the air fryer that we're using today is from Z-Star. Those guys sent this to me. I had a little air fryer. I've never really had an air fryer this big. So I've used this a couple times. I tell you guys, it is amazing the size of the basket and the things that this thing can do. So we're going at 380 degrees for 25 minutes. We're gonna go through and we will probably flip these at about 12 and a half minutes to make sure that we have a even cook on both sides of these. And uh, once that goes off, we'll bring you back. All right, we're about halfway through. I'm gonna open it up and give these things a turn. Oh, they're looking good. Let's get in there. I'm gonna take them and turn them. Get them all flipped over, so they cook evenly, and we'll get them started back up again. All right, ready to go. Going back down. All right, got about 11 minutes or so left. We'll bring you guys back when they're done. All right, they're done, done, done. Oh my goodness. We'll get you in here and look at these. Wow, those are looking great. Can't wait to get my mouth on that one. All right, we're gonna get these pulled out and uh, give them a taste. See you in a minute. All right, these wings are done and they look delicious. Outside is crispy. Let's see if it'll zoom in on that. Man, that is a great looking wing. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm. Man, it's salty, it's sweet, it's got a hint of, actually it's got a hint of smoke in there when it really shouldn't have a hint of smoke, but it does. I guess that's the hickory flavor that they put into that rub. But man, those are some damn good wings. If you're looking for an air fryer, you can click on the link below. If you're looking for this delicious rub, there's a link down there too. We'll see you guys on the next clip. Mm.